Hello there. Welcome to another talk. And this is called, <clears throat> this talk, <clears throat> excuse me, is called Talk on the Importance of Heart Based Living. Compassion and forgiveness are natural and true heart, human, sorry, heart virtues. The heart is a portal to God. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is. Now, if you're new to my stuff, uh, the website, it started off with me. I had an unexpected spiritual awakening where I, where I sat down and had enough of everything up to that point. I was 24 years of age. I'm 34 this year, so just under 10 years of this awakening. Yeah, I sat down, had enough, and didn't know what I was doing, but what I had actually done was I went into the heart chapter and I unlocked something within there, or went in there, and in there, if you do, if you really mean it, like I did, you spiritually awaken. Because within the heart is, the, is a portal that leads you into what the source is. Uh, it's even in science, in America, uh, They've got this place called the Heart Math Institute, and they've proven scientifically that the heart can can heal us, and through heart connections, we can heal the heal the planet. So it's working on things like being non-judgmental, having compassion, forgiveness, and those. See, most virtues. When people virtue signal, that's not the real virtues. The real virtues are in the heart, whatever the heart feels. Those are the only true virtues. The virtues that people signal, like face masks and all that stuff, I am vaccinated. These are fake virtues that are made up by the system. And the people that virtue signal like that, they are not living from their heart. They are living in the, they're in some deluded thing, you know, that there's, that the government would never wrong them, you know, but once you start living from your heart, you'll start knowing that, 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 that there's nothing to be afraid of, and you don't need to protect yourself from anything, uh, you, and you do protect yourself by opening your heart as much as possible, like I say, compassion and forgiveness, and and this develops unconditional love. And the Heart Math Institute, as I was saying earlier, has proven that, 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 that this energy can actually heal the whole body. Uh, love can heal the whole body. Uh, like asthma. I was looking up today early in the morning and I found out that asthma is related to trauma. And conditions related to the heart, respiratory, the breathing. Whenever there's issues there, it's related to uh, to the heart chakra and blockages within there. See, what traumas do, traumas lock themselves into the heart chakra. That's why you get people that will overreact to things. That's why you get people that will demonize other people. I know, because I, I, I used to be a compulsive liar. I would compulsively lie about myself and I couldn't control it. So I don't understand this kind of neurotic, compulsive kind of way. I'm not a psychologist or anything like that. I might talk like one. But it was all through the spiritual awakening that I started to understand. And then I started to come across people, not by accident, it was meant to happen, like psychologists and psychiatrists on the internet who were basically saying the same things that I was being shown. That the way to heal is to every time you notice a trigger within you, whenever you're going to demonize the person, at that moment, forgive yourself. At that moment, forgive yourself. Be compassionate towards yourself and stare into how you feel in that moment. And then you're healing that that thing that was a way to react, or did react. As you let your breathing, when you notice your breathing exhaling, 
let it exhale slowly and you'll actually feel all different emotions. These are unconscious emotions. These are all tricks that I got from, from the awakening. Right? Uh, and what is the spiritual awakening? Well, you have a higher self and how you contact that higher self is basically by being heart-based living, by living from the heart. But it's true, when we demonize other people for our reality, I know I used to do it myself, it's just, it's just a way to deflect from our own issues. It's a cowardly thing, but don't beat yourself up about it. For, forgiveness and compassion starts with yourself. And then what happens is you build up a certain level of forgiveness and love till you're, you've, you're ready to love others and to forgive others. So don't feel bad about feeling bad towards others. Don't feel bad about feeling bad. Be gentle with yourself. And that is how you develop heart-based living. That is how you develop the power of the heart energy and, un and unconditional love. And uh, that doesn't mean, you know, you shouldn't... What I'm saying, I'm not saying in, in that you should never say something of it if your heart is telling you it's wrong because big part of heart-based living is being authentic you see a lot of people think the spiritual path is about just being forgiven all the time no yes that's a big part part of development but forgiveness without education isn't authentic so it's about educating people and sometimes you need to be forceful in your manner and if it's authentic it won't feel like dis-ease it will feel good because you're doing something that your heart is telling you to do or say. And so, so and like in this, this talk, it says the heart is a portal, portal to God. So I like doing my talks like this, putting a picture up because I, I can read off it and then I can just talk on the subject, you see. Plus, if I'm t when I was facing the camera, I would, I'm not saying I'll never do that again, I probably will, but when I'm facing the camera, it takes me a little longer to, to tap into the subject. It's more of a performance, because they can see you. But back to what I'm talking about, yeah, so that's that was my wake, and I unconsciously was doing heart-based living without realizing it. And I realized that my I was born in this, on this planet to have this awakening, this spiritual awakening, and to share it with, with everyone else right that's that's what if if you have something great happen to you that's what on an, a spiritual level like that our job is to share it right and so that's why I've got my own website uh, I thought a website was the the basis the the, the you know what, what I need you know everything I everything that I download information is on my website. All different subjects at lovelightfamily.com. But so how to practice heart-based living is yeah, just when you feel when you're demonizing someone instead of demonizing them, that's that's what I call the angelic signs. Angelic signs is what I give name to those moments when you're about to judge or demonize. Okay, we all do it. As soon as you feel yourself doing that, pause, stop. Forgive yourself and stare into that, consciously stare into that feeling you have right now. That is the unconscious emotion that, that you need to heal. By being, by staring consciously at it, we heal that issue simply by doing that. Then you get insight into that issue and you'll get insight and clarity on why it's there. So, so the way to practice is everyday life in situations. Every time you get triggered, from the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed, practice this. And then the heart energy, what's happened is the traumas are getting unblocked. And then you're, you're, uh, you're becoming the example of what to be. And heart energy, I have saw so many people say, some people say it's 60 times more powerful than the brain. But it's, but it's about aligning the brain and the heart as one. Like mindfulness meditation a lot of meditation is about ignoring the rational mind. Mindfulness meditation is about 
the merging between the rational mind with the heart chakra. And then you get perfect divine intelligence. It's just perfect knowing and intuition. Uh, and that heart-based living, basically, it's just the higher self, you know. I just let the higher self lead the way. Just ask it to come through. And what that is that's coming through is just the heart energy. It's like what David Icke once said, infinite love is the only truth, everything else is an illusion. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it on that note. For latest by me, uh, talks, I write songs, I do poems now as well. Everything's on my website. My website address is www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you.